Cradle of Eternity is the debut studio album by Yuko Suzuhana, released on November 23, 2016 by Avex Tracks in three editions, the CD only, to the CD, and CD with DVD or Blu-ray. In contrast to Waigaki's band style of mixing traditional Japanese musical instruments with heavy metal, the album features more mainstream J-pop sound. Hello everyone, this is Ian from the Reaper Rocker and welcome to Reaper's Music Reviews. This is the segment wherein we do reviews on different albums, EPs, and singles. On this episode, we will do a review on Yuko Suzuhana's Cradle of Eternity and I will share some of my thoughts in this album. If you're excited to watch this video, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow my social media accounts. Let's start! My top favorites in this album, those are Issei no Cradle, Step Forward, and Remains. Isei no Cradle is the barrier single in the album and my most favorite song as well. When the first time I heard this song, I started to fall in love. The melody offers a catchy sound that you will surely remember. The song is more on focus on J-Rock style comparing on Yuko's band, Waigaki, and offers the heaviest sound in the album. Yuko's voice is powerful and she balances the attack of each instrument. You could see that she displayed her talent very well. On the other hand, the music video kinda reminds me of Within Temptations, The Reckoning. I love the presentation. It's kinda post-apocalyptic or sci-fi, which is I like it so much. On Step Forward, the melody has an anime vibe. I love the execution of each instrument, especially on the guitar parts. It is refreshing and uplifting at the same time. Yuko's voice is amazing. She uttered the words perfectly. For me, the soundscape on this song has a mix of J-pop and alternative rock with a modern twist. Overall, the song is good and I could recommend this if you are an anime and show. On Remains, the intro of this song reminds me of Senbon Sakura and the keyboard part has a Waigaki band's influence. I do appreciate it and it gives life on the song. The song has more on the J-pop style and Yuko's singing is good. I wouldn't expect that she could sing the likes of this due to the fact that I am used on her voice in Waigaki. But she did it well and she nailed it. The honorable mentions is Issei no Cradle Piano Solo. This is an instrumental track and it has a different listening experience. The piano solo gives a different identity of the song. From the more on J-Rock music style turned into a ballad style. I'm not a fan of ballad but this song made me appreciate it and the execution is good, simple, and clean. If you want to hear Yuko Suzuhana out of Waikaki band, then I suggest listen to this album. You wouldn't believe that the vocals of Waikaki can deliver ballad and J-pop style which I do appreciate. You will see her versatility and creativeness of delivering its song. My top tracks that I mentioned earlier are different kind of experience to listen. It's fun and experimental. You could visualize that you are in an adventure when you listen to those tracks. On the other hand, these tracks are more with a J-Rock and ballad. I'm not a fan of ballad but when I heard these tracks, I can't imagine myself listening ballad. I could see that Yuko is a talented singer, that's why I even I heard singing her in ballad, I'm liking it. Overall, it is a uplifting experience to listen this album, it's fun and interesting at the same time. 
now it's time for the verdict. What could I say on this album? I could rate this album as 4 out of 5. Let's check out the mosh pots that we could visit for the following days. Alright, so we're done in this uh, video. Let me know in the comment sections what your thoughts in this album. Feel free to comment down below and if you like this video, don't forget to send a thumbs and consider subscribing. And if you want to listen to the album, the link is available in the description as well. Again, this is Ian from the Reaper Rocker signing off. Rock on, Filipinas! <laughs>